Oh, thank you, Janelle. Yes, it's actually, it's her birthday Eve, but as she reminded me, if she was in China, it would be her birthday already. That's what she told me this morning. So she, <laughs> Emmy loves her birthday. It's also Kathy Santos's half birthday, another fellow birthday lover. But that's one thing I've learned um, through BeFit. Learn to celebrate your birthdays and you, and uh, what a beautiful gift that is, right? You are a gift you were put here on. I love this. You are here on purpose for a purpose. So Super Saturday, we're going to get a little deep today. I guess this is also my birthday because I did go into labor uh, nine years ago this day and it took a little bit of time to come out. <laughs> I remember actually we thought she was going to come out during willpower at 6 30 in the morning. Um, I taught willpower on Wednesday mornings at Pro Fit. No, it wasn't for me fit at the actual club. So Dawn, you might've been there. And then she came at like nine in the morning. There was no B-Fit. All right. I don't know why I'm punching and stepping it up, but it just feels good. Good morning, Kathy, Terry, Colleen. Yes, Papa Peter, Kathleen, Wendy, Lorraine, Cam, Lizzie, you're back home. Lauren, Becky, Michelle, Don, Alex. All right. Just to get some of those wiggles out. We're going to get a little deep to begin with. As we warm up our feet, I want to talk, just follow along, <clears throat> lifting lowering your toe, lifting your toes, and then lifting the heels. I've been talking lately about this butterfly analogy, and it's really hit me the last couple of weeks. Uh, we're going into spring. Butterflies are such an amazing creation, so beautiful. Each butterfly unique, right? No two butterflies, I don't believe, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but no two butterflies are something different about every butterfly. And what I love, what I, I've been sharing is not just the beauty of the butterfly, the fly, and the, um, what you think of when you first think of a butterfly. But this was taught to me by one of my business coaches last year about actually what a butterfly has to go through before that beauty, that grace, that ability to fly and soar. And that's in the cocoon, the uncomfortableness of the cocoon the darkness, the quiet, the rebirth, right? So think about that right now as we head into spring, as we come around two years of the pandemic or whatever you want to call the last season, we all have been put in a cocoon. You might still be in yours right now. Learning to embrace that part of your journey. And as humans, I feel like we go in the cocoon, out of the cocoon, in the cocoon, out of the cocoon. So right now, all right, big inhale. Ha, actually, before we go there, thank you, Dawn. We went to her house earlier this week for a little beautiful sound bath. And remember the willpower right here. I want you to take a big inhale, really gather some energy, maybe negative, maybe positive, whatever comes to you, and just give a couple swoops here. Nice, really bend the knees, let something go. Make way for something else. Awesome. Let it go. Morning, Morgan, Letty, Judy, Valerie, Michelle's here. Couple more. Down and back up. And then last one. Oh, yeah. If you want to hang out there for a second. All right. Hopefully, I've never, I haven't done this until uh, Tuesday. So thank you, Don. Everybody make a butterfly. So you're going to cross your hands, cross your thumbs, take it up to your chest. We're going to repeat a mantra as we do some tapping with our butterfly. And then we're going to walk ourselves out into plank, harnessing that power. So that first mantra, and if this just doesn't feel good to you, say anything that comes to you. There's no wrong words here, as long as they're, they're kind to yourself. So that first mantra as you're tapping is, I journal this enough, a lot. I am enough. I am here on purpose. Whichever one speaks to you, just say it, tap it a couple times. And then after you feel that, walk yourself down, walk it out. We're going to hold plank here for about 15, 20 seconds. If you're not holding plank this morning, just come into a chair pose. And just take that mantra, take the butterfly, take something that goes a little deeper beyond just exercise on Saturday. Besides just physical exercise. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Beautiful. Walk it back in. Come back up. Make your butterfly. Another one of my favorite sayings. I am a work in progress. Don't ever apologize for that. I am a work in progress. What you apologize is if you're not working on your progress, then you can apologize. For now, I am a work in progress. Butterflies fly. Let's go back out to plank. Holding just steady at all the muscles in your body. Wake up this beautiful Saturday, March 19th, 2022. Three, two, one. Bring it in, bring it in. One more, roll it up. And our last mantra of the morning, make your butterfly, start your tapping. Thank you, Don. it just feels good. You're like giving yourself a little hug. The tapping gets some of the nerves or anxiousness out. And then we say, I can do hard things. Physically, mentally, emotionally, you all have a 100% track record of making it through. So remind yourself, I like a butterfly. I can get uncomfortable. I can go deep. I can quiet down. I can be in the dark a little bit. I can do hard things. One more time, walk it out, walk it out. Beautiful. Hold it up, hold it up. Let's go, 10. Give yourself a positive statement in the morning. If you don't like the word mantra, maybe it's a power statement. Maybe it's a quote. Maybe it's a word. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, go ahead, drop your knees, lift your toes, or you can stay on your toes if you want. We have nine chaturanga push ups. We've got nine, eight, seven, six. I could do hard things. Five, woo, four, three, two, woo, one. All right, come on up. We'll get into the cardio portion of class. Some sweatshirt tripping off. Good morning, everyone. Who else just popped in? Sandra and Cleo. All right, it's Super Saturday. Emmy, I told her at 8.15, she can come in and we'll do birthday burpees. She wasn't going to let me forget that one, and I did. So you're welcome. All right, we're going to just do classic willpower again. And I like to bring a theme every week to Saturday. I call it our Be Fit Church, right? Um, we've been doing Super Saturday since the beginning of EFIT. This was literally one of the first classes, 8 a.m. Saturday willpower. 8.35, sculpt and stretch. Almost seven years, have always in the top five, usually the top two classes out of EFIT. So there is something that's extra magical about this hour. Lauren will be taking a second half of power hour this morning. And then you got Liz and Christina with our awesome addition, the Box and Blast and Zumba. So I wanted to get something in now before I head to a spa party with a bunch of eight and nine-year-old girls. <laughs> there we go. Down and up. Woo. So the concept today, I love it. These ones usually come to me in the middle of the night before class. I just put the calling out there. What are we going to talk about? And this one is the power of saying yes. And it goes along with our theme of asking someone to join you next week. Now, I don't want you to get stressed about that. I do want you to ask someone just to get a little uncomfortable. But I want to talk about the power of saying yes um, and where that's led you in your life. So we're going to start to lift ooh, the right foot down. Sorry, the left foot. And up. Down. And up. Nice, Becky. <laughs> Valerie, your dog's ready for a walk. I know the dogs don't quite get the daylight savings time yet. Nice, Anne. Beautiful, Cleo. <sighs> so as we're going to be moving for the next couple minutes, we've got squats to begin with. I want you, nice, Colleen, to just start to think about, you can go far back in your memory. You can go back the last week. You can go to today when you got the email that said, 
click here to join willpower and what did you you had to say yes to click into class so think about those times and now switch it to the other side in your life this can go twofold actually um sometimes we say yes i'm gonna start with this part we say yes when we should have said no so what we say no to sometimes is just as powerful right taking on too much doing something that doesn't truly align with your value system overextending yourself so there is a flip side to saying yes but i want you to recognize that as you go forward right you can't change anything you said yes to that you wish you didn't um going forward though keep that in mind what you say yes what you say no to is also important back to yes two one now lift behind right here lift that left leg up and behind oh i didn't get to see the puppy yet colleen look at that there's um a local neighbor that had a, a litter of bernadoodles and my kids keep visiting him every day I'm like you can't visit too many times or you're really going to want one um hopefully they're all sold soon but she wants to get them used to kids which i think is really great but those are such a cute breed two one switch to the other side so think i'm giving you when we move it's easier to think what have you said yes to in the last you can go as far back as you want to again this class today that has positively impacted your life maybe it was something and i'll tell a little bit of my story where i got to this um two one okay now we have a minute where we're going to go left right so these shifts right these transitions back back left right so i was thinking back because i was reflecting as emmy's turning nine and kind of my journey from um working in the office to getting into fitness and just, just a little backstory i think most of you know i found fitness at a time that was really tough for me physically and emotionally we were trying to get pregnant it um, just wasn't happening and it felt like everybody else around me would sneeze and be pregnant and it was just if you've ever been through that loss um, it's hard and you feel out of control and it goes to other areas of life we've all felt that at some point something felt out of your control and we don't like that right two one okay step it forward so i asked my friend danica all of a sudden i was like you know what i could sit and complain and go down the stark rabbit hole or i can try to take control of my health try to be more active not just a weekend warrior right i worked on a desk all week and then i like hike or something on the weekend so we joined the gym she said yes so sometimes it's someone saying yes with you and we go to the gym all right start to head into this lunge bring it up i want you to stick it right here at the top down and up down and up and we started to go to the gym i always say i say to everyone please don't just go do the ellipticals and the weights do group fitness it took me like six months to start group fitness classes because i was so scared and intimidated um and then those changed my life because it's about community someone putting together your workout um here we go a pro guiding you right you have a coach when you do group fitness that's already crafted the workout that's huge um i don't want to say i saw an elliptical was a waste of time because it wasn't it got us in the habit but it definitely wasn't as effective as once we started to do group fitness and then from there i started and don who else would have been around back at that day yeah you didn't come to snow creek terry i don't think um a couple other refitters a new format came to the gym called the willpower method oh look at what we're doing right now so this was about 12 years ago 12 years ago here we go now we're in a pendulum front to back and it was so exciting because anything new is always exciting right and um sarah the director of fitness had brought it 
And I think it started at like 6 a.m. This is the class that made me a morning person. So I'm like, if I want to do this class, I got to start getting to the gym at 6 a.m. Holy cow, through the snow, through whatever. And I just fell in love with this format, the mental, the positive affirmations, moving your body in this steady state where we're not just crushing ourselves, but we're functionally training our body in every direction, in every up and down, every plane. Two, one, okay, step it out. You're still getting an amazing workout in full body. The traditional willpower is an hour long. So we, we cut it a little bit at VFIT. So then they added more classes and I started to go to willpower like every time it was offered, which was too much, but it was good. Um, and there was a bunch of us that were just loving it. So Sarah said, you know what? I'm gonna have an instructor training. You know what? <laughs> oh, it's Murphy time. Hold on, hold on. Stop the roll. Come in here. Okay, you're not doing burpees. This girl has been in my belly teaching willpower. And of course, you know, I still taught willpower. This is that class. All right, lead us, Emmy. You were in my belly. In fact, Don's daughter was there when I found out I was having a girl in girl power. Here we go. Let's go. Nine. We interrupt this willpower. Eight. Seven. Six, five, woo, four, okay, three, two, one more, happy birthday, Emmy. Good job. All right, back to old heart. Woo. Oh, it's Penny's birthday too. Okay, we'll do two burpees later for Penny. Um, they fit two burpees in throughout the day for the dog. They have the same birthday. All right, so back to the program. A couple more step outs. All right, now take that left, really connect it right up here, down. So here I was like working an office job. I was probably 28 at the time. Like fitness didn't seem anywhere on my radar. Um, I loved it, but that's about it. So Sarah says she's having this instructor training at Snow Creek. And my first thought was awesome. There'll be even more classes after more people get trained. Um, and, and then she kept saying, you're gonna sign up, right? Okay, take it to the back, take it in. Take it to the back, take it in. And I'd be like, Sarah, there's no way. I'm what, what do I have to give to taking willpower? Like where, where do I fit into that? You know how you have your own self-limiting beliefs that could be so, so detrimental. And thankful for persistent friends, she kept asking. And then I think she told me, I just signed you up. I'm like, okay. Um, so, a, uh, so then I got to the point and however you have to get to your point, where I bargained with myself. Now take it front to back. Woo, catch it here. Front to back. I said, okay, I, I got, I'll do the training, but only for education. I haven't been in school for a long time. I can learn something new. I'm just gonna do the, do it to expand my education. And so went to the training. And then there was homework, but I wasn't going to do it because I wasn't going to teach, so it didn't matter. Um, and lo and behold, again, be around people that push you, that believe in you. I've told this story, but it never loses its magic. And I'm not really in touch with Sarah anymore, but I always tell her when I how big of a role she played in my life. So you never would know where you plant the seeds. You might not always see the harvest. All right, take it out. Next series, start with some plies right here. Oh, this is what I'm saying. We move in every direction. So the training comes and goes. It was an awesome two day training. And she said, okay, so now you're gonna get certified. I said, no, I wasn't even gonna do this um, 
darn education, like leave me alone at this point. So then she comes to me with the schedule for the next month. I forget, I think the training was in January, so it must've been the March schedule. And she said, look at the schedule, Rochelle. I was like, okay, for the Snow Creek, for the whole group fitness schedule. I'm looking at it. I'm like, Sarah, you made a mistake. You have my name on 6 a.m. Wednesday, willpower. Did you make a mistake? And she's like, nope, you'll be certified by then. You're teaching. And again, here I am today. So something happened where um, I, you said yes. And I'll tell you, I told this story, it never loses its figure. Okay, now we're gonna step up, tap. It was nerve wracking to get certified. You had to like send in a video, you had to have music. Um, it was really, it's good. That's why I always push you to do things outside of your comfort zone. It keeps you growing. I would have been stagnant, sitting behind a desk, wishing about all these other things. And it took someone to call me to action. Think about a story in your life to maybe a marriage, right? When you're asked, will you marry me? Here we go, bring it up, step it out. And I'll never, I always talk to the trainers. I still get, we all still get a little bit nervous when we teach, it's a good thing. But that first class I taught, I can't believe I didn't throw up all over everybody. I was so nervous, so nervous. And I remember teaching and just saying, this is it, this feels, Right, um, I had a lot of work to go and I still do. That's why I love this profession. Here we go, cross it over, down and up. And what I look at today, all of us here, working out on a Saturday or any other day of the week, doing willpower still is, we're doing this together. I've seen amazing things through so many of you through being part of BFIT in the community and having Lizzie, right? The team pushed you to write your second book. Okay, pushed it together or put it all together. Back, sorry, that's my jam this week. I love this little combo side. Make sure you have control, back. Um, my good, good buddy from college and story sister, Colleen. I asked her to come back to BFIT and be my plus one. I sent her a sweaty selfie and she couldn't resist and here she is, she's back. So it takes, think about when it comes to asking somebody, it doesn't have to be VFIT, but maybe to do something with you that you know will benefit them. Don't think that, oh, they know what I do or that anyone can do this. There is so much power in the invitation. As a parent, as a um, type A personality, get back to the center. And a lot of you will relate. How often do you ask for help? Hardly ever. You try to always get it all done, do it all, be everything. And then someone offers you help to bring a meal, to take your kids, to give you a date night. Um, and you say yes. And then you go, oh my gosh, what a relief. I needed that. Uh, sometimes you have to be really persistent. Like I said, you're doing it from your heart. If you want to help somebody, here we go. Tap. Even when someone's going through a tough time, loss of a loved one, illness, big change in life, right? Keep offering those little bits, emotional help. A meal goes a long way. If you see a friend really starting to spiral down, make them go for a walk with you. Literally, whatever it takes. Um, you will never regret showing that you care. I promise you will never regret that. Here we go. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. The world deserves all of you, right? You're here, like I said, on purpose. I think of Cleo bringing just like little scriptures and little gifts and just shining light. Two, one, here we go. So maybe there's something in your life right now that you keep resisting that you keep holding back from, Woo! that you maybe need to say yes to. Or on the opposite side, no. Or invite someone, pull them up. They're so, I guess it's why it's so heavy on my heart. 
There are so many people in dark places right now. And it feels, here we go, let's put it all together. Um, those of us, which is everyone here, who are empathetic, carers, go-getters, it can be frustrating. Let's be real. You all have those friends and family where you just like want to shake them and say, if you would just do what I say, hi, Aubrey, um, you would feel better, right? They're not there yet. So be the guy, maybe one little step, one little nugget you can send them, one extra check-in. Don't stop shining your light. Here we go. We're almost there. Oh, let's do a little geography check-in. We got California, nice Terry, Washington, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Oregon, New Hampshire, and then, oh, Nevada. Michelle Ann Williams are here. All right, last, put that one fast. Okay, fingertips to your ears. We're gonna curtsy, we're not done. Lift, curtsy, lift. Whew. Okay, we're gonna flow through. I didn't even plan to do this, but the song is calling me and it's one of my favorite songs. We're gonna end with me not talking, just watch my flow, feel the music, listen to the song. Don't worry, I'll get you out of this mood in a second. There's a fire inside, you can feel it burning. It's a neon light glowing like a furnace. And the night is long, but the world keeps turning. You gotta know it, it's not the end. Every yeah, new sun rises one step closer.
All right, she didn't want to miss her birthday burpees. Okay, if you want to do two birthday burpees for Penny. That's my anthem. Every time I get out, every time I get scared, or I feel out of control, I remember that song. All right, happy birthday, Penny. Here we go. One, she's a COVID baby. Two. <laughs> Sounded like a real good idea in May of 2020. Now she's finally a good idea, but let me tell you, the puppy was tough. That song gets you. Sorry, I wasn't planning it, but got to listen. Have a good day, everyone. Papa Peter. Bye, Ann. Bye, everyone. Bye, Aubrey. Good seeing you. Bye, Letty. Bye.